Diana travels the world. The People's Princess touched lives across the entire globe. From the Americas to Africa, Europe, Asia, and even the land down under. As we remember Princess Di since her tragic death, take a look back at the late royal's well-dressed travels around the world. Welcome to Princess Diana the channel. Make sure to subscribe to never miss a video. The Prince and Princess of Wales, shown here in Sydney, Australia, draw huge, excited crowds on their 1983 visit to Australia and New Zealand, their first international trip as royal ambassadors. Prince William, then nine months old, was with his parents, the first time a royal baby went on tour. Prince William have a favourite toy. He loves his koala bear he's got, but he hasn't got anything particular, he just likes something with a bit of noise. Diana made connections with the people who came to see her. Here she used the traditional Maori greeting of a nose rub in Auckland, New Zealand. It was during that six-week visit when Charles for the first time realized how much the public preferred his pretty young wife to him. At one point, Diana even erupted into tears during a public appearance outside the Sydney Opera House. The princess was upset when she realized that all the attention she got was disturbing Charles, even making him jealous. The pair traveled by gondola along the Grand Canal in Venice during their royal tour of Italy in 1985. In the same year, they flew to the United States to meet with the Reagans at the White House. That night, Di performed their world-famous dance with John Travolta. In 86, the pair went to Osaka, Japan. Diana's popularity in Japan, like the rest of the world, was immense. Japanese pastry chefs worked for three months on reconstructing an exact replica of Diana's wedding cake. Dressed in a kimono, she watched a game of sumo wrestling. Later, she took part in a traditional tea ceremony in Kyoto. Lovely dressed in Thailand visiting the world-famous temples in 88. In 89, the prince and princess embarked on a royal tour of the Arab states of the Persian Gulf, including a trip to Dubai, where they watched camel races. That same year, they went to Indonesia, where Dai visited hospitals, and the pair attended a traditional dance ceremony. The royal couple visited India in 1992. It was expected that they would visit the Taj Mahal together, However, Diana arrived alone. It was there that the late princess posed for one of her most iconic photos. A lovely image, but if you look more closely, Diana's solo figure paints a picture of loneliness. The photo set the tone for what was to come. Just months after this moment, Diana and Charles announced their separation. On her own in Egypt in 92, 
she really began to shine, smiling, shaking hands, greeting children. The real Diana began to emerge as a role model for a new era of pop star royalty. Di loved to visit New York City. The Carlisle Hotel on the Upper East Side was her favorite place to stay. Over the years, she worked a lot on charity projects. She went to Harlem Hospital, where she visited children with AIDS, homeless shelters. She also visited fashion shows and operas, all with her famous glamour. In 95, Diana asked the late John F. Kennedy Jr. to meet her in her hotel. Tabloid spoke of a secret affair. In that same year, the People's Princess became Humanitarian of the Year. On her last visit in 97, she met with Mother Teresa. The world-famous nun died the day before Diana's funeral. In 97, she visited Angola to fight against landmines and to learn how to remove explosives in the fields. That summer, Diana first flew to Saint-Tropez to stay with her new boyfriend, Dodie Fayette. Her last trip went to Paris, where she died in a tragic car crash. Thank you for watching our video. See you next time on Princess Diana, the channel.